Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwadwin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to unlock the bootloader on any Xiaomi, Redmi, MI or Poco phone. Please keep in mind that the process will wipe off all the data from your phone and it might also nullify the warranty. So if that's well and good, then take a backup of all the data on your phone and then let's get started. First and foremost, you'll have to add your Mi account to your phone. So for that, go to the settings menu. From settings menu, go to MI account section and under MI account, Add your account either via the phone number, email ID, Google account, Facebook or any one of your choices. So make sure to add your account and once that is done, you will then have to install Android SDK platform tools on your PC. This is the official ADB binary given by Google and is required to execute ADB commands. So download it from the link given in the description and then extract it onto your PC. In my case, I have done the extraction in eDrive. You could extract them anywhere you want. Once that is done, you will now have to enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. USB debugging is required to execute ADB commands. Whereas OEM unlocking is required to unlock the bootloader on your phone. So let's now enable both this toggle. For that, go to the settings menu on your phone. From settings menu, go to about phone and tap on MIUI version 7 times. You will get a prompt that you are now a developer. Once you get this prompt, go back, then go to additional settings. You should now see developer option. So go to developer option and enable the toggle next to OEM unlocking as well as USB debugging. So let me first disable it and if I re-enable the toggle next to OEM unlocking, it will ask you for the password. So type in your password, phone password and once that is done, tap on next and it will now bring up one more prompt. So tap on enable and with this OEM unlocking is enabled. Likewise, you will also have to enable the toggle next to USB debugging. So do so and it will now ask you to check mark the prerequisite of I am aware of the risk. So select it, wait for 10 seconds and when the time has elapsed, tap on OK. So with this, we have enabled USB debugging as well as OEM unlocking as you could see. Let's now verify the USB debugging connection. For that, go to the platform tools folder address bar, then type in CMD and hit enter. This will launch the command prompt window inside the platform tools folder directory as you could see. Now type in ADB devices and hit enter. Make sure you are getting a serial ID. If you are not getting any serial ID, then unplug and replug your phone from the PC, disable re-enable USB debugging, tap on revoke USB debugging authorization, Use the official USB cable that came with your phone and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC and not the 3.0 port. So carry out these USB tweaks and make sure you are getting a serial ID. Once you are getting the serial ID, you are now good to go ahead. And our next course of action is now to go to the Mi Unlock status. So go to the settings menu from settings, go to additional settings. From additional settings, go to developer option. Then go to Mi Unlock status and tap on agree. Now you will have to make sure that a SIM card is there on your phone. Likewise, turn off Wi-Fi and turn on mobile data. So you could do so from here itself as you could see Wi-Fi is off in my phone and mobile data has been turned on. So once you have done all these tasks, it's also mentioned here to insert a SIM and turn off Wi-Fi and turn on mobile data. Once you have done all these tasks, just tap on add account and device and wait for a few seconds. So as you could see, it's getting added successful. So our account has been added in the main log status and we are now good to go ahead. <coughs> so once that is done, you will now have to boot your phone to the fast boot mode. So let me show you how to do that. For that, go to the platform tools folder address bar, type in CMD or before that, let's first bring up the OTP or the verification code on our phone. So for that, you will first have to download the me unlock status. So let me show you how that could be done. So download the me unlock tool from the link given in the description and extract it onto your PC. In my case, I've done the extraction in the E drive. You could extract them anywhere you want. Once you've extracted them, let's now launch the tool via the Mi Flash Unlock tool exe file. In some cases, it's known as Mi Flash tool or Mi Unlock tool. If there's a pending update, you will get a message to update here. In our case, we are using the latest version. So just tap on agree. And after that, you'll have to sign in via the same method that we have used on your phone. In our case, we had used the phone number method. So we'll again be using the phone number. So let me just log in via the phone number. So if you have also used the phone number, then you have to first get the verification code and only then you could boot your phone to the fast boot mode. So as you could see in my phone, we have got a verification code. So let me now enter the verification code. It's 0085. And now click on enter and let's now check out the results. So so it's not checking for the permission since we have already added our account over here in the me unlock status. Let me show you. Let me first close the messages box. So as you could see, since we have already added it 
here in the me unlocks letters. So our phone has now been verified and our, our account is being shown. And now you could boot our phone to the fast boot mode. We did not boot our phone to the fast boot mode earlier because we wanted the OTP code. Now that we have got the code and we have entered in the tool, we could now boot our phone to the fast boot mode. So to boot your phone to the fast boot mode, go to the platform to folder directory, type in CMD in the address bar and hit enter. This will launch the command prompt window inside the platform boot folder. Now type in adb reboot bootloader and hit enter. Your phone will now boot to the fast boot mode and it should only take a few seconds. So let's wait while that is happening. And it should now boot to the fast boot mode in just a matter of seconds. And it's about to, as you could see, it's now in the fast boot mode. Now type in fast boot devices and hit enter. Make sure it's showing a serial ID. So let me re verify the same. So as you could see, I'm getting a serial ID. If you're not getting any serial ID, then it means you haven't yet installed fast boot drivers. So you have to install the fast boot drivers as well. For that, I made a video as well as a guide on how to install fast boot drivers. So make sure to install these fast boot drivers. And once you have installed them, make sure you're getting a serial ID under the fast boot drivers section. So just a minute, let me show you that window as well. So <clears throat> make sure you're getting a serial ID under fast boot devices as I've shown you here. Apart from that, you could also open device manager by using the right click option on the Windows icon, go to device manager, then expand the Android phone section and make sure your phone is being shown as Android bootloader interface. So if your phone is being shown as Android bootloader interface and it's showing a serial ID next to fastboot, it means your PC is able to interact with your phone in fastboot mode and now you are good to go ahead. So now that the phone is in the fastboot mode, let's now open the me unlock tool and check out the status. So as you could see, it's now phone connected showing and it will erase all the data. So now click on the unlock button and it will again bring up a prompt and you have to wait five seconds then click on unlock anyway and it will again bring one more prompt so wait for five seconds and again click on unlock anyway once that is done the process will now start so let's wait for the time frame and it should take around five to ten minutes for that to have five to ten seconds at the very max and so this is happening because I have just bought a new Xiaomi phone. So if you have just bought a Xiaomi phone and using your account for the first time, then you'll have to wait for 144 hours. So I'll wait for that time frame and then come back. If you have already waited for that time frame, then you will not get the screen. Rather, your bootloader should be unlocked straight away and you should be directly taken to the screen that I showed in the screenshot. You should get a message of unlock successful. However, if you are doing this for the first time, then you will get this error message and as of now you cannot do anything except for wait for this time frame and once that time period has been elapsed we will come back and retry the process and this time it will be unlocked so guys let's wait for the time frame and then we'll be back hi guys so the set time period of 144 hours in my case has now elapsed and let's now check out the results do not know that in some cases some of you might get up to 168 hours which correspond to seven days of waiting time. In my case, it was 144 hours, which correspond to six days of waiting time, but that's not an issue. It could vary. And so once the time period has elapsed, again, you should boot your phone to the fast boot mode. For that, you could refer to my link guide. To do so, enable USB debugging on your phone. And once you have enabled USB debugging, simply execute the ADB reboot boot to the command, and this will boot your phone to the fast boot mode. As you could see, my phone is currently in the fast boot mode, and I'm using the POCO F4 just to re-verify. Likewise, open CMD window inside the platform boot folder and let's verify the fastboot connection as well. So it's now open. Just type in fastboot devices and make sure you're getting a serial ID. If that's well and good, you could move ahead or else you have to install the fastboot drivers as well. And then again, you have to verify that you're getting a serial ID. Once you're getting this ID, open the Mi Flash tool. The link for that is given in my guide. So download and extract it onto your PC, then launch it and sign in using your account. Add the same account which is currently in your phone. Once that is done, you could now click on unlock. Yes, just to re verify, the process will wipe off all the data from your phone and it might nullify the warranty as well. So please proceed ahead at your own risk. If that's well and good, so click on unlock and you will now get the prompt on your PC. So wait for five seconds and again click on unlock anyway. Then you will have, again have to wait for 5 seconds and then click on unlock anyway so let's do that and the process will now start till 50% it will verify that device and after 50% it will start the process of unlocking the bootloader if everything goes well then it should get completed and as you could see we have got the prompt of unlock successful 
so this signifies that the booter has been unlocked on our phone likewise the done has also been checkmarked and once that happens your phone will undergo a reset and as you could see it was undergoing a reset on my poco f4 as well and once the reset is complete you should see the unlock icon at the top of the phone when your phone is booting up you will always see an unlock icon at the top which signifies that the booter has been unlocked apart from that there are quite a few other ways of verifying the same as well i will show you those methods as well to verify if the process has been completed or not so let's wait for the device to boot up it should only take a few seconds but since our phone has undergone a reset the first boot up might take up a few longer that's completely normal and nothing to worry about so let the device boot and then i'll show you a couple of methods to verify the process of unlocking or not so i'll show you two different methods to verify if the boot has been unlocked or not while it's showing over here it's unlocked successful and the process is indeed completed successful but just to re-verify i'll show you a couple of additional methods as well so as i've told you before since our phone has undergone a reset the first boot up could take up a few additional seconds that's completely normal and you might have to set up your phone from scratch by signing into your account so as you could see so guys as you could see i'm getting a activate this device option so let's proceed ahead to activate this device for that i'll have to type in my id and password so it has verified the password and now we could move ahead so let's choose any of the three options let's say file transfer and then select the language english region is india and i'll skip the list of the things just agree to, to the terms and condition and let's skip this for now as well and the first time it's checking for the data let's skip the google sign in as well let me skip that as well so type on accept and as of now let's skip everything okay so let's give it permission agree and as you could see the terms and conditions have been accepted and our device is now booting up to the os and the first boot up could take up a few additional seconds that's completely normal so let's now check out the results so if i go to the settings menu so let me go to settings and from settings let's go to about phone and tap on miui version 7 time this will enable developer option so you will get you are now a developer now go back go to additional settings from there go to developer option and as you could see under oem unlocking the bootloader is already unlocked and likewise under the me unlock status as you could see this device is unlocked so both these signify that our bootloader has been unlocked successfully you could also check via the password command as well so let me show you that method as well it could prove to be handy in case you are unable to boot to the os so in that case you could check via the password command as well so for that first and foremost let me enable usb debugging and with this you will get a prompt so select it then wait for 10 seconds and then tap on ok you could also use the hardware key combination to boot to, to the fastboot mode but i'm using the password command because the password commands are universal across all the phones so let's use the command now i'll be typing in cmd in the platform tools folder address bar and hit enter this will launch the com command form inside the platform tools folder and now type in adb reboot bootloader and hit enter with this your phone should now boot to the fastboot mode and the process should only take a few seconds so let's wait for the time frame and this is the command that you have to execute so just copy paste it fastboot oem device dash info so once your phone is booted in the fastboot mode first and foremost verify the fastboot connection once you are getting the serial id just execute this command and hit enter as you could see the device unlock is true as well as device critical unlocked is also true so both this signifies that your bootloader has been unlocked and you are now going to go ahead and flash the rom of your choice so guys on that note we will round off this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and guys please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks thanks a lot for watching